Greetings, critical viewers, and welcome to another update vlog that I meant to post several days ago, but could not because I was incapacitated. You see, what happened was, Thursday afternoon, a bad storm blew through my area and knocked out power pretty much all around. Uh, most people in my area were without power for several days, and I literally have not had internet access until a few hours ago. It's currently Sunday night. So, yeah, that is why uploads have been slow for the past week or so. Um, well, not for the past week, for the past half a week. Um, it, what made things even more interesting was that my friend Mr. Craven came up for a couple days to record some videos for our co-op channel. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. We're playing Resident Evil 6 right now. So, we were going to play some, like, local co-op games, but what happened was... He somehow ended up contracting stomach flu, and that combined with the power outage made us spectacularly non-productive. So it's been an interesting couple days, and uh, making things even more interesting, and I meant to upload this in a vlog last week to make things more timely, I start my new job tomorrow. So by the time you see this, by the time you're viewing this, I will be at my new job working or getting like moving into my new desk. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. But uh, the point is, if you're watching this and it's Monday, I'm at my job right now. Unless it's <laughs> later in the day. Hopefully I'm still not there. Um, yeah, so I learned that I got this new job last Tuesday, which was funny because that was two weeks to the day from when I got laid off. And in my last vlog, I said that I gave myself a two week time frame. So. Um, yeah, pretty proud, and I am very excited to be working at this new place. It's it's another ad agency in town, similar to the one that I worked in before, but um, I'll begin to do a lot of different things at this new one, and I'm really excited. So, uh, yeah, don't expect this to, like, cut into video production or anything, because as you may have noticed, uh... Unemployed John making videos is about as productive as employed John making videos. In fact, I think that unemployed John is a little less productive than employed John. So, if anything, you may see an uptick in upload rate uh, <laughs> after tomorrow. Um, but anyway, uh, talking about the channel though. We had 60,000 subscribers last week. Which is so freaking crazy, I can't believe that. Um, it's 63,000 now as of this video. And uh, once again, I'm an idiot and don't have anything prepared. Because it just came so freaking fast again. And uh, I might as well just like now start preparing for 70,000. Because like it's just coming so fast. And I have to thank my Five Nights at Freddy's playthrough for like blowing up and like doubling my channel size that's so crazy um so thank you to everybody who recently subscribed please let me know in the comments section if you found me through that playthrough or if you found me through something else because i'd like to compare i feel it feels like the audience has, has grown a lot recently um so anyway i just like to know um, although that may be confusing because I'm also making this a Q&A video! Surprise! Lots of comments in this video. Um, I've done the Q&A thing several times before, but I think the last time I did it was 25,000. So, I figured it's probably about time I did another one. It's been a while. So, uh, the last time I did a Q&A, I posted two four-hour videos answering every single question from the comment section. And I think this time that is going to be impossible. Uh, if I were to answer every single question in the comment section of this video, by the way, I'll be posting a future video answering the questions in the comment section of this video. So if you have a question, label it Q&A somehow. Like Q and A colon dash ellipsis whatever suits your fancy and then put the question and I will answer it if I think it's a good one. Um, I, I will not be answering every question again because it would take like four four hour videos or more at this point and uh, 
Those take some time to do, especially because last time I put timestamps to all the questions so you could just find whatever question you ask. It's a lot of work, so I'm probably not going to be doing that this time. In fact, I'm not going to be doing that this time for, for a variety of reasons. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of work, but also it would, like, take up my render queue for a couple days. And can't afford to do that with all the crazy new games that are coming out right now. Like, Silence of the Sleep came out while the power was out, so that was great. I totally missed that one. Um, Alien Isolation comes out tomorrow. Evil Within comes out next week, and these are all, like, must-play games for me. I have to, you know, all aboard the hype train. I'm, you know, full speed ahead on that stuff, and I uh, gotta free up my render queue for that. With that said, the next new video that you will see from me is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter Part 1. So, I'm starting that playthrough very late. <laughs> right on time with that one. Uh, so if you've been wanting to see The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, it's a really interesting game, actually. It's uh, not exactly the most action-packed, but it's, it tells a pretty good story, and I think it's a lot... It, it's like a better version of Dear Esther. That's all... I, I mean, I haven't gotten too far into it. I'm just like a couple hours. But that's about as uh, good of a summary as I can give you right now, without spoiling anything. So that's the next video you'll see. A lot of people have been asking about Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl because I've only churned out a whopping two videos of that playthrough so far. And I understand the uh, <clears throat> the anxiety over that playthrough, especially since I expressed in the last video that I wasn't really happy with how my commentary was doing in that playthrough. But, rest assured, uh, I am planning on continuing that playthrough. I just am sort of stuck at the moment because I am terrible at that game. I'm at this part, th those of you that have played Stalker will know where this is. I just got to the garbage area and I'm helping these Stalkers fight off these bandits. The thing is though, they suck and they die like three minutes in, well less than that, like 30 seconds in, and then it's like me versus a dozen bandits and then I kill most of them, but then I die or I live, but then they just keep coming back and like repopulating. So yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get past that part and it's kind of been taking a while. So that's what's happening with that playthrough. As soon as I get past that part, I'll post part three. I'll have enough footage to like fill up a third video. I just don't know when that will be. So that's a little update on the playthroughs. Obviously Alien Isolation starts tomorrow and I will play it as soon as I'm able to. It sucks because like, in my last job, I had a week of vacation planned for this upcoming week so I could just sit down and like, grind out that game, but obviously that's not gonna happen <laughs> now. So, oh well, you know, life happens, shit happens, so. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Let's see, new jobs, 60,000, new games, power outage. Oh yeah, I was recording Vanishing of Ethan Carter while, like, right before the power outage happened. Like, the, ga or, uh, the game was up on my screen when the power went out, so uh, I actually caught my reaction to the storm on video. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it in here if I... If I want to. I, I'll do it. Fuck it. Holy crap, guys. Hang on a second. It is storming like crazy outside. Out of nowhere. Hang on. So I guess that's about it, and uh, under 10 minutes. Alright, see you guys later. Think critically. <laughs>